Yes, people, I'm back for another episode of All For The Dub. And this week, Tariq Mitchell is going to tell me how he gets ready for a game. Being a yard man, like, what sort of foods are you eating before a game? And yard man, for those who don't know, is Jamaican. Before a game? To be fair, I don't try to eat too heavy, so I don't like eating yard food before a game, because it's just too much. Yeah, yeah. So more time, I'll, I'll try to eat like a pasta, something simple. Chef bought you something, what's that? That looks decent. Just a little bit of chicken. To be fair, this would be heavy, to be fair. I would say this is heavy. Is, it, is that the plan? Is that is that the same for every home game? Like, he just, oh, game, he just brings you a little takeaway container. And more time, not all the time, but I'll like ask, oh, like, can I get some takeaway or if it's pasta or something? But yeah. See, your first time in it, like, what did you think when you first walked into the changing room? Like, you, you saw your name with the Prem badge on it. That was mad still. Like, I was just thinking, you just feel like, yeah, I'm here. So you get it, like, it's just a mad feeling. Like, I wouldn't even know how to explain it, it's too tough, but it's just like, it's a crazy feeling. I hear that. Uh, what about music? What sort of music gets you in the game? Are you headphones in or? Everyone says Wolf's the DJ. Are you listening to what Wolf's playing? Nah, I'm headphones in. Yeah? Headphones. What you got on? What are you playing? To be fair, I'm heavy on like American rap. So like Baby, Future, Gunner, all them guys. But then switch you with the drill sometimes, you'll learn it. See, I'm, the, I'm different. I like UK rap. So I like Fredo and all of that. Like, get me. You don't like American? I, I dabble in and out. Like, I, I, what's your um, superstitions? Come out last, like put your sock on different. See, I don't have a lot, you know, but the main one, so I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> I have to go to the toilet before, before the game. I have to. That's one that I, I will do every game. Uh, what about boots? Are you like, same boots for training and matches or you've got separate ones, wear moulds only? What sort no, of I'm, things? I'm more time throughout the week. I try to wear um, my modes, but for games I wear studs. But I like, if I play, if I play well in the boot, I ain't changing that boot <laughs> until I play bad in. So that's a superstition then? Yeah, true. true. Uh, and the kit man, like, I think he's like the busiest person before a game. Is there anything you're asking him specifically? Not really, more time is to like cut socks. That's it. Okay. Other than that, I'm not really, I'm not really a fussy guy. You're not cutting them yourself? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, there's ones that are already cut, but back in the day, you used to cut them yeah, themselves, yeah, yeah. now they got already cut. And get in still. trouble, Kitman shat and he's cutting socks and that. Yeah. Nah, it's not too bad still. All right, well, show me around the ground and we'll talk some more. So what, you see this bit, yeah? Are you last, middle, first? More time, what? To go out to like the, just before the game. Yeah. I'm middle, but when it comes to the actual match, I'm probably one of the last ones to like that's last a, five. It's another superstition, isn't it? But maybe still. <laughs> maybe that's just me just taking long to get ready, but yeah. Alright, so you're here, match ready, game on. Is there someone you've come up against and thought, like, wow, like this guy gave me a run for my money? This season, I'd probably say. Especially in the first half, Ziyech. Ziyech? Yeah, he was, he was just doing loads. In that, especially in the first half, he was doing loads still. And that's one guy I think, yeah, it was long in the first half, but. Did you, did you expect that? To be fair, with most men, like, you know them from like watching them on TV, and these guys are like, guys that you actually watch Champions League, all, this, all these things in it. So I kind of know that certain men are going to be a bit skillful, blah, blah, blah. But it's a thing where, I, if I know someone knows them, yeah. I'll ask about them. See, like, say Jairo played with him at Ajax, innit? So okay. I'll say, oh, like, what's he like, innit? So I'm trying to get a rough idea before, Do you before need I research. Like, yeah, literally, you have to, man. <laughs> These guys are dangerous. <laughs> All right, you step on the pitch. I'm not going to step on there. Step on the pitch. Are you, like, doing the cross, saying a prayer? Yeah, no, nah, when, I, when I walk on the pitch, I touch the ground, do the cross, uh, and then say a prayer when I'm in the line or when doing the lineup. Okay. Say a little prayer there. The style of play kind of suits you. Does that help, like, knowing that you're in a team where the gaffer wants you to play football? Does, like, do you, you know, does that make you, help make you relax? Or are you thinking, I'm, out. I'm not really comfortable on the ball? No, nah, no, nah, definitely, like, 
when you know that you're playing football and your teammates are going to help you and stuff, it's, it's easier, you know? you're not really thrusting. You know that, cool, if I get the ball, someone's going to be there, someone's going to be there. So it's kind of easier. But sometimes you're playing against certain teams that sometimes you get the ball and they're pressing, <laughs> a, they're pressing a bit mad. So you're thinking, ah, oh, it's long. But naturally, it's, it's not too, it's, it's good for me personally. Uh, and obviously you're at a club, club where the fullbacks always get a move. Are you, are you inspired by Kleine and um, Wan-Bissaka's stories? No, definitely like, like watching, I've been watching Kleine from young, seeing Wan-Bissaka from when he was at Palace, it's like, these guys are inspirations, especially in my position. So like having a career like Kleine, like it's something that a load of fullbacks, young fullbacks would want. All right, let's, let's have a walk to the dugout and let's see if we can carry on chatting there. Like, you see when you're playing, yeah? Mm. Do you, like, say when your people come and watch, do you know where they're sitting? Nah. There's only there's one game I found them. <laughs> only one game. And they were sitting like, they was like here. But there's one game. Or if, if they're in the boxes, then you kind of slide no. You'll look up, you kind of yeah, yeah. slide see them. But they're in the crowd, I ain't finding them. What about like fans? Do you, do you like block them out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially at home, it's not too bad, isn't it? Naturally, they're, they're cheering you on, innit? But, but when it's away, that's when, that's when you got to block the fans out because you're not going to hear nothing nice. Bro, you see that stand? Bro, that's like the top man. It, like, when I come here, it was rocking. Yeah, like, that yeah, must yeah. boost you on, innit? Yeah, no, definitely. Here, here, playing here is, is, is top three atmosphere in the yeah, Prem. It's, I'll give it's a that. joke here. I'll like, give the Eagles that. Yes. The Holmesdale, Holmesdale stand, innit? I'll give them that. Yeah, no, nah, it's that. top three, honestly. like. The noise is a joke. <laughs> when you went to England, was you gassed? Yeah, definitely. Like, it was mad because, like, all the videos you watch, you know, the, the little behind the scenes, that like, the England channel. Yeah, yeah. Whenever there's a camp on, everyone watches it. So, you know what I mean? Bro, me and my boy, as soon as it comes up, send it in the group chat. Like, I'm talking about what people are wearing, like, da 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 da, every, everything. Like, yeah, 100%. Everyone, everyone watches that. I can't lie. Like, Soon, as soon as there's a camp, you're just waiting for the training clips. Like it's something, it's just something like everyone likes to watch. So like, definitely when when I knew I was going, it was just like, yeah, like this is this is really really mad. But you see, what before you got called up, yeah, and your name's getting like put in the mix, like what are you thinking? Are you thinking, ah, oh, it's another uh, more rumors or? You fear I'm. I don't. I wanted to. I didn't want to think about it too much. You know what I mean? Because then. You don't want to get disappointed if it don't happen, do you know what I mean? So I just let it float in the air. And then once it was actually real, that's when I said, yeah, calm. Did you change your match prep when you was at England to like your palace prep? Nah, I tried to do the same things, like, because that, that's what gives you your confidence, isn't yeah, it? So yeah. I didn't want to change nothing because I was already nervous as it is, isn't it? So I just tried to keep my composure by doing the same things. But you ain't got the chef bringing you brown shirt. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's the difference. But the, the chefs there were, it was good still. Ah, decent. Um, is there any little pointers, like you know, things to, you know, like things to put in your uh, to bring to your game that like you took took from the England boys? I think like one thing with me, when you're at your club, sometimes because you're there all the time, like there there might be training sessions that you don't. I'm not saying you don't apply yourself every day, but sometimes you just take your foot off the yeah. pedal, isn't it? But when you're there, you know you got cool. I got a week to show myself. So everyone is trying to show themselves as well, isn't it? So yeah. I think I took from that the just the being on it 24-7, innit? So I think that's the biggest part that I saw that these guys like, even if they're doing like um a little training session with like against no one. Yeah. It's just everything sharp, bow, bow, bow. Everyone's passing sharp, everyone's moving sharp. So that's one thing that I took from. So you said World Cup's that aim, yeah? Yeah, it's man, not I, too far away, you know, November. Yeah, it's not, it's not far at all, but first thing, I'm just trying to focus on like, what's in front of me, and then if I get that right, then who knows? Nah, perfect. Now, T, thank you for showing me around. Oh, is that? You don't know that <laughs> one. Thank no, you for that's showing me around, man, and good luck with the rest of the season. Thank Hopefully, you. see you soon. Thank you, thank you.